Hello, I'm Morley Safer. Healing practices and theories have changed significantly over the years. There's more emphasis now on prevention and wellness, and we're more aware of what we can do to help ourselves. Here's one of the latest ideas. Ancient rituals have led to many modern health techniques, among them vitamin and mineral supplements, which for some have become a staple of daily wellness practices. People have been taking vitamin and mineral supplements for years, but recently there has been a new interest in these substances because as we live longer, people want to take vitamins and minerals to maintain their health in old age and they are interested in preventing diseases. However, before taking any supplements, Dr. Schrauser suggests checking to make sure it meets the requirements of the United States Pharmacopoeia Conventions, or USP. People were accustomed to use solid supplements, but it was discovered that solid supplements caused problems because some people didn't dissolve them too well and therefore didn't get any benefits of the nutrients they contained. USP looked into the problem and developed standards according to which a supplement has to dissolve in simulated digestive conditions. This applies to solid supplements only. For liquid supplements, such tests are not required. This is because liquid supplements are more quickly dissolved and absorbed into the bloodstream. Finding more effective ways to supply nutrients to the body has been the focus of study for biomedical researchers such as Dr. Joel Wallach, who has practiced both in veterinary and traditional medicine for over 30 years. Through his research, a type of liquid and solid supplement has been developed, which he believes has the potential to deliver up to 90 essential nutrients. Well, as a veterinarian, it was very obvious that we could prevent and cure diseases in animals with nutritional formula to keep the cost of um, foods like eggs, uh, meat, dairy, poultry, down where the average American could afford to eat them every day. We simply did that by eliminating disease using nutritional formulas. So I went back to school and became a physician and in 1978 began to use these veterinary nutritional formulas in my human patients. And these were patients uh, who would not or could not be helped by medical doctors for chronic diseases which plague Americans today. And these veterinary formulas work in people just like they did in animals. Research is going on to obtain the optimal formulations for different uses. For example, children who need different liquid supplements than maybe the elderly. Athletes will need different supplements than uh, people in sedentary professions. And so you will see that a variety of supplements will become available for various needs. For many, taking care of our bodies has meant reaching back to some of humankind's oldest techniques. And as medicine continues to evolve, it may change the way we look at health care. Advances like these give us hope for a healthier tomorrow. Thanks for joining American Medical Review. I'm Morley Safer. It's, it's sort of naive to throw away your life uh, because you're assuming that everything you need is in your food. We know, for instance, that the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture over the last 22 years says that minerals and vitamins in our foods, the 12 most commonly grown plant foods in the United States, have dropped anywhere from 38 to 53 percent. These are nutrients in our foods are no longer there, or at least have dropped significantly because we do not uh, raise crops for the amount of vitamins and minerals in them. We raise crops for the tons and bushels. And we can grind up mountains and put these mountains into our fields every year, but it would run the cost of an ear of corn up to $35 a ear of corn. Technically, it's possible, but not uh, economically feasible. I became interested in liquid vitamin and mineral products actually some 25 years ago when I attended a meeting of a self-help group of multiple sclerosis patients. And these patients were all telling things that they thought helped them. And there was one lady, the only one of about 28 patients, who was able to completely arrest her disease for quite a few years, so much so that her doctor believed that she never had multiple sclerosis. And when I asked her what she did to achieve this state of health, she said, well, I always powdered my vitamin mineral tablet first and then put it in juice and waited until it was completely dissolved 
and then I drank that solution. And you see, she felt very strongly that it was the taking of the vitamins and minerals in dissolved form which helped her so much. A few years ago, uh, when I started to get toward my 60th birthday, I have always had a very young mind, always felt young at mind, but my body was starting to fall apart. I didn't like it, decided to try to do something about it. Fortunately, came in the house one day, Dr. Joel Wallach was on the radio, and from what he said sounded very truthful to me. I went out, I bought some of his supplements, I started taking them, three months later my body was back to being liquid again, Were like when I was 20. My other goal in life, other than taking care of my own self, was to help my sister, who was actually born sick, at least according to me. After I got her on the same supplemental program as myself, she's now a walking, talking, 72-year-old tennis player. She's back to normal and she doesn't take a bunch of drugs anymore. I have my own home-based business where I am my own boss, I have my own hours, I travel if I want to, if I don't want to, I don't have to, I can do all of my business over the phone, over the computer. It's easy for me because I believe in the products and they're good for anybody that would ever take a chance at it, I promise. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there also is love of humanity. Once again, American Medical Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's health.